Hey guys, today I wanted to share my Target haul with you. I went to Target this morning and um, we have a super Target. So I was going to Target to get my groceries, my usual grocery trip. And these are the items that I picked up extra that aren't a part of my normal grocery shopping trip. So um, as soon as I go in, usually the first place I stop is the, it's the one spot. It's the spot that has the items that are a dollar and three dollars and um, not too long ago, they started adding in $5 items as well, but I didn't get anything that was $5, but I will show you what I got. They have already started to put out all of their fall decorations and um, Halloween and Thanksgiving and stuff like that. So I found these cute little gloves. They say boo and the letters actually glow in the dark, which I thought was really cute. And these were only a dollar. I think uh, these will be good for my five-year-old. And then the next thing I picked up is this cute little owl mask. Um, this one was three dollars. It's they actually put it on their head completely, and they can put this over their eyes. I tried to put it on my three-year-old when we were in the store, and she was having no part of it. So um, I'm hoping my five-year-old will like it. I think she probably will. She'll probably love it. So I just thought it was really cute and I figured they probably aren't going to last very long so I got one of those. And then the next item I got is this cute little pillow. It says Happy Halloween with the owls on it. And this one was um, one of the $3 items. I figured this would be an item that's probably not going to last very long either. It's really cute. And then I also picked up this reusable bag. Um, they had some other frozen items there as well. This one, this is only a dollar. They also had like some little tin boxes and some sticker books and coloring books and things like that. Some hair bows and bracelets. So they had a lot of new frozen items. Um, these bags, I actually saw these bags there a few weeks ago and I bought like 10 of them because I'm going to be using them as um, Christmas gifts. I'm going to put like all the kids in my family that I know I'm going to put their Christmas gifts inside of one of these bags and give to them. Um, the ones that I got before I think they were different. I got a few that just had Olaf on it and I got a few that just had Elsa on it and then I think the other ones had Kristoff, Anna, Olaf, and um, Spin. Spin. That's the name? Yes. The uh, the reindeer. It had him on it. So I saw this one. This had all, almost all the characters. It doesn't have Spin, but I don't think I got this one before. So I went ahead and just picked up one like this as well. And uh, my girls will keep some of them and I'll use the rest of them as gifts. Actually, I may actually use these also as trick-or-treating bags, the two that my girls keep, because I think they're probably going to be Elsa and Anna for Halloween, because we already have the costumes, um, but we'll see. We'll see what my five-year-old decides. She's pretty much the one who cares. My three-year-old doesn't care what she is, actually. So, and the next thing I got wasn't in the one spot. It was in, like, the grocery area, but I got these two little... Rubbermaid lunch blocks and they came in the pack of two. I think it was like four dollars and some change for the two of them and I may have gotten five percent off of it with the cartwheel too, but I'm not sure. I'd have to look at my receipt. But we um, went the other day and we picked up one of these that was a sandwich size box and my five-year-old was with me and we tested it out and she was able to open and close these by herself which was what I wanted something that she could keep in her lunchbox that she could get into easily so she's using the sandwich one today um, but she just had some turkey slices in it some lunch meat it's just turkey she just likes to eat that by itself so I really didn't need the sandwich size but it was all I had so that's what I used but I think these would be perfect for her to use to carry the turkey in and I also got some smaller ones as well because I thought these would be good to carry like peaches and mandarin oranges in 
I know they come in like the little snack cups, but those cups, whenever you open them, the juice sprays everywhere. So normally when I open one, I will pour all the juice out and then give it to them. So I figured I could open one, pour the juice out, and just pour the peaches or oranges in here. And then she can have it for her lunch. And it would be a little less messy than, than those cups. So she wouldn't be able to open those anyway. She'd have to get the teacher to help her. So these she can do on her own. And then I also, um, this actually I bought when I bought the sandwich box. So this wasn't today, but I figured I'd show it since it goes with these. These are the little ice packs you put in the freezer. This one's already cold because it was in the freezer. I grabbed it out. Um, it came in a pack of three. And you, they just, these little boxes, like, they stick together. Or, I don't know. I think it goes up here. Yeah. So you can, like, hook the, uh, the little ice blocks on top of them to keep it cool. And she has two of them in her lunchbox today with the sandwich block. But I thought that was really neat, so my lunchbox finds and then also to kind of go along with that I I decided to try this it's soy nut butter it's peanut free it says it's safe for schools um, my daughter does not have a peanut allergy but I know the schools are really kind of strict about peanut butter and peanuts at schools so I thought I would give this a try because my daughter loves to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches so if she likes this and this is good, then this will be great for her to take to school with her for lunch. And it will be safe for other kids as well. Um, and we'll just eat regular peanut butter at home. But um, we never, we've never tried this. I'm sure some of you out there have. And if you have, let me know what you think. Um, yeah, but that's it. Um, that was all the non-grocery except for this. But this is something I don't normally buy, so I figured I'd add it in here. Um, items that I bought today. It's my Target haul, mostly Target one spot haul, I guess you could say, and some lunchbox items. And that's it. So I hope you guys like watching. If you have any questions, um, just leave them in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.